Hi paper lovers, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be making a Christmas card. I'm so excited that the holiday season is coming. I love it. I'm using the brand new Scrappy Mom set, A Holiday to Remember, and I am using the sentiment from our house to yours. So let's get started. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half size card with craft cardstock as our base. And the paper I'm using is from the <coughs> Die Cuts with a View, their Christmas stack last year. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put um, the name up somewhere. But this mat is uh, four by five and a quarter. And then this little red glitter is from the cardstock stack that goes with this set. And this is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to stick this down. It's one of my very favorite Christmas packs ever. And I can't remember the name of it. So this is going to go down here. I like this um, stripey paper here and the red in it's glittery also because it kind of reminded me of wallpaper. And that was the look that I was going for. Then I just have a little strip of the cream color that I am going to stick down with my Zig two-way glue pen. Just along the top of the red layer here. Whoops. Okay, it goes there. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this down to my card base. Whoa. Sorry about my squeaky APG. fun part. Okay, so I have used the Doodle Charms cartridge and I cut out some of the stockings at, oh my goodness, I didn't even write this down. I am not prepared today. I believe it's one and a half. If it's not, I will put the uh, size up there for you. But I cut four of the stockings because there's four members of our family. And then I just wrote our names on it. So that's my husband Thomas, Sarah, that's me. Stephen and Noah, so they're just going to be kind of hanging down, like so. So I have a piece of red baker's twine that can be purchased at Scrappy Moms, and this is the maraschino. And I'm going to move these out of the way, actually, I shouldn't have grabbed those yet. I'm going to just kind of figure out where I want my twine, right about here. And I am using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I found for me this works best for sticking the twine down, but I'm sure there's something better. But I just kind of hold the twine like right about where I want it to go. And then I'm just going to put a very small dot of the glue. And then I kind of pull my twine up a little bit and stick it in the dot. So it kind of looks like it's hanging down a little bit. And it does take a minute of just sitting here holding it until that glue sets a little bit. Do, 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 do. For the sake of the video, I'm going to move on, but normally I would hold it here a little bit longer. So I'm going to come over to the other side. I'm just going to pull this just ever so gently. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing. Just put a little dab of glue and... Oh shoot, see it moved because I didn't get it. Hold on just one second. This really is easy if you just give it a little bit of time. So once again, I'm going to lift up to give it the illusion that it's hanging down. And I also take my um, paper piercer and just press down a little bit and hold it. And then right in the middle here, just below 
the middle of the twine, I put another little dab, and then you want to quickly put that lid on that. And then you bring it down, and again, you can use your paper pusher to, to hold it. So that part does take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Oh my goodness. I promise you it really is easy. I'm just trying to hurry, and I'm messing it up. Okay. Moving right along. You know what? I didn't put enough glue. Hold on a second. I made about 20 of these type of cards for a baby shower. Had a little banner on it, and it really is easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and place my stockings, figure out where they're going to go. You know, and obviously, you know, if you have three members of your family, two, you would just adjust it to however you want. You could put, like, maybe it's you and your husband and your and your pets or however you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to adhere these down with ATG. And one more little stocking. Sorry about the squeak. Okay, now that those are a little bit dry, I'm going to go ahead and trim off my little tails. Okay, now I've taken and made two little red bows out of the twine, and I'm going to put a little dab, just a little, of the scot, oh my gosh, <laughs> of the scotch, of course a huge blob just came out, right up here at the top of my little banner. lid back on. That stuff will dry out if you leave that lid off. I'm going to go right there. Let's press that down. Trim these little tails. And now, I'm going to wipe a little bit of this glue off here that's showing. From the sentiment, let me grab that. Oh, and I keep forgetting to mention that now through October 16th, 2011, Scrappy Moms is offering free shipping on all their orders, so now's the chance to stock up on some stamps if you've been wanting to try them out. I love free shipping. It's awesome. I hate paying shipping. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay. So with that same cream color cardstock, I am going to Stamp my sentiment. This out of the way. And then I am going to cut it out. in here. 
here to give it like that little banner effect. Like that. Let's trim this just a little bit more at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and tear that down. And that's going to go right down here in the middle of our red strip. And then I'm going to tie another little red bow. I thought I already did it, but I didn't. So I'll just do that as quick as I can. pressures of tying a live bow. There we go. Trim off the little tails. And we get a little dab of glue. And that one's going to go right down here at the bottom. That's it. It's my little Christmas stocking card from our house to yours. Thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.